Welcome back to another test session with 247 Motorsports. Today, we're at 131 Motorsports Park in Martin, Michigan. So it's Friday. And there we were, thinking we were going to show up for testing with a beautiful car again. Well, we ran out of wrap. It's only cosmetic, so we don't really care. A little ugly. But she's going to be beautiful. So we're going to load her up anyways. Friday, headed to 131 Martin, Michigan. It's a three and a half hour drive to Martin, Michigan, and we arrive somewhere around midnight. We set up camp outside the gates and get some sleep. The next morning, we find our spot, get our tech cars, and unload because today's gonna be a good one. It's opening day here at 131, so we get Brandon right in the staging lanes because we need to make as many test hits as possible. Are you running this line next? Yeah, I'm ready. New day, new track, and we're doing everything completely different than we did last week. Did you watch last week's video? Pro tree, no time. Today, we're trying a lot of different things, and Martin's a really good track to do that at. On top of wanting to understand everything this car is going to do, we're trying to hit numbers we've never hit before. Yeah. 
like what a mouse. Can't take it down. I'm gonna get loud. You can never douse. Now what? If you rain it out, I can make it sound. to us so we're trying everything instead of focusing on just going straight we're playing with front suspension moving four link angles if we move this bar how will the car react every track surface is different and we want to prepare and know our car on a good note our 60 foot numbers are amazing and we're running a lot less boost than we did last year hates a wasted test pass. However, I miss catching the footage of our discussion prior to the pass that based on our changes and trial and error, we presumed something drastic might happen. So we change it again. a little bit so naturally put the wheel right set the wheel down blew the tires off one hard right okay so we're really fast changing the four link and trying to make it uh 
make it work and then if that doesn't work then we're gonna try a rear bias change close at six so we got hopefully time to make two more cool i have faith in us well that's good making some drastic moves and changes so we know what the car does boys are going to make one more drastic move and change and then we're going to try and find the neutral just get the car down the track beautiful day Small tire, no prep, just isn't what it was a couple years ago. I mean, cars in my class are going under 5.0. You gotta be low, low fours to even be competitive in this world. Last one. One of these days, I'm just going to start blurting out time slip numbers, because this is exciting stuff. Just kidding, B. Those slow-looking, smooth passes that give us the data and PVs to go home with. Is this loud enough? How did today go? Um, a little challenging. Uh... Tried a lot of different stuff. Definitely ran better than we've ever run in a few areas. We tried like three different four links. Um, played with front front end travel, tune up stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, like obviously last week we were able to easily run where we've been with like with ease. Um, you know, today we didn't really want to do that, so we wanted to try to obviously run quicker than we than we know how to or have been. The, uh, you know, four link is new to me, it's new to Joe, <laughs> it's not new to Jordan, but what we're trying to do, uh, Jordan has more experience with a big tire than a small tire, so kind of a little bit of a learning curve for all of us, but uh, I mean, the car he built is, I mean, it's disgusting, you know, I mean, it's it's doing things that I, I was not able to do with the car before. It's doing things I did with the car before on almost half the amount of power. So it's definitely showing promise. I mean, when uh, you know when we were doing all this, one of the big things that I was worried about is we were building the whole car around a small block when there's all these heavies out there. And big block Chevys and the exotic small block Chevys and 
I mean, it's a good small block port. Don't get me wrong. It's not a. It's not a bitch. It's not some little turn LS uh, like tons of people run. But I would never run one of those gate things, anyways. Um, but today definitely opened my eyes to like we're good. You know, like it, it'll once we figure it out. Like the motor is there. It's got the power to go where it needs to go. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm extremely happy. I mean. You're doing some bar changes. Obviously, you guys saw we got a little while. Power wheelie, that's no big deal. Power wheelies are a good thing because those are easy to fix, but and making bar changes quick in the pits. You know, the preload was off in the back a little bit, so I was driving left. Uh, and then, you know, trying to find our groove. We knocked the tires off a couple times. Sally went hard left one time. We leave one time and then when it mattered right before the track went, you know, it went right down Broadway. brand new car and everything is trial and error but we will definitely surpass get there we've already hit a pb on slicks and our best 60 foot number to date everything is moving in the right direction this was testing at 131 in martin michigan and we're just getting started so stay tuned for next week's video Big shout out this week to Joey Boost 12 and Jordan at j &E Performance. And thank you to all of our sponsors who help make this crazy life happen. Thank you guys for watching 247 Motorsports. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.
Don't